So you're thinking about moving to Chesterfield, Missouri. Well, in this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of Chesterfield. We're gonna look at some of the different houses that are for sale in the area. We're gonna drive through some of the neighborhoods so you can see what it's like to actually live here. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna talk about the current market in Chesterfield. And I'm gonna tell you about the number one place to retire in Missouri, and it's not Chesterfield. So make sure you stick around at the end of the video to see that. And if this is your first time on the channel and you wanna know everything there is about living in St. Louis or a surrounding area like Chesterfield, then make sure you press the subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in St. Louis. And my name is Noah Brockman, and I help people just like you make the move to St. Louis. So whether you're thinking about moving here in the next three weeks or three months, be sure to give me a call, send me a text, or send me an email, and I'd be happy to help you make the move here. And with that being said, we are here in Chesterfield at Faust Park. Now, Faust Park is here just off of Olive. Over this way, you can kind of see them. There's playgrounds that direction. There's also a trail that goes through the park. And then over on my right side, we have some of the historical homes that were originally built here. And then just past the playgrounds that direction is the Butterfly House. The Butterfly House is a huge conservatory garden with all kinds of plants and of course, butterflies. Faust Park hosts all kinds of events here throughout the year, from hay rides in October to summer concerts in the summer. And if you have kids, this is a great place to take them just to get them out of the house. We also have a few other major locations here in Chesterfield, such as the Chesterfield Mall, Chesterfield Valley, and the Chesterfield Amphitheater. Now, Chesterfield Mall has the Cheesecake Factory, an AMC movie theater, and a few other spaces, but unfortunately, there's just been a decline in malls over the past few years, so there's a lot of open space there. Now, Chesterfield Valley is basically the retail mecca of all of West County. You have your major stores such as Target, Walmart, Sam's, Aldi, Best Buy, the Home Depot, and you also have your variety of restaurants from your Starbucks and Chick-fil-A and St. Louis Bread Co. to a more local option such as Annie Gunn's Steakhouse. We also have a couple of outlet malls. There's also a Top Golf. Then there's the Spirit of St. Louis Airport for more personal planes. You have the landings at Spirit Golf Course. And then you also have some office space and some commercial slash industrial spaces. Now let's go look at some of the houses that are for sale in Chesterfield. And then at the end of the video, we'll end up at Chesterfield Amphitheater. And then I'll tell you about the number one place to retire to in Missouri. It actually has no houses for sale. All right, now here we are looking at our first house for sale in Chesterfield. This is a four bed, two bath, just over 2,000 square feet. It's listed at 375.5. It's gonna put your price per square foot at about $186 a square foot. Now coming over this way, as you can see, we have double front doors. The garage door leads to a backyard with two garages in the back. And this house was built in 1964, but it's got an updated kitchen, parts of the house are updated, and the bathrooms are updated. There's also a great brick patio out back. And as you can see, looking around at the rest of the neighborhood, there's a lot of mature trees in here, which is always nice. And this house is in Riverbend Estates, so it's just by the Riverbend Elementary School, and it is just off of Olive, which makes it an easy commute to get to pretty much anywhere around here. You know, for 375 in Chesterfield, this is definitely a lower price point for Chesterfield, which makes it a great starting point. And of course, you can always move up later on. Now let's go look at the second house we have on our list. All right, so here we are at the second house we're looking at. This is a four bed, four bath, just over 4,000 square feet. It's listed at 725, and that's gonna put your price per square foot at about $177 a square foot. Now, this is a custom built house on over one acre. As you can see, you have the vaulted ceilings on going both directions on this house. Over on this side, let me walk over to it. You have your three car garage. Now, the kitchen on this house has been updated and you also have this beautiful landscaping out front. 
Now, don't worry about that right there. That was a sewer lateral line fix by the city of Chesterfield. So that's gonna be all renovated and taken care of. And this is in the Claymont Estates neighborhood. This is right at the intersection of Baxter and Clayton. So you're not really close to any major roadways, but it's still a very easy drive to get to Clarkson Road or 141. And this house is in the Parkway School District, which is rated A plus by niche.com. I think it's time to move on to the final and third house of our tour. All right, so here we are at the last house on our list. This is actually a luxury detached villa. It is a three bed, three and a half bath, just over 3,500 square feet, and it's listed at 1.499 million. I think we can basically call that 1.5 million. Now the price per square foot is over $400 per square foot, and we're gonna talk about the stats here in a minute, but that is much higher than the average. But this villa was built in 2020. As you can see, looking around at the rest of the neighborhood, all of these villas do look the same, but if that's what you're looking for, you no, know, this is one of the nicest neighborhoods I've been in Chesterfield that is newly built. And of course, with this being a newer neighborhood, this has all the good things you can ask for, like walking trails, a pavilion, a, like a playground or a gazebo, pretty much anything you can want. Now, with all that being said, let's go actually talk about the current market in Chesterfield. And now we are at the Creefcore Amphitheater to talk about the current market in Chesterfield. And we're actually at the lake behind the Creefcore Amphitheater. And as you can see, just on the other side, there are brand new modern houses going in. So now that used to be a bunch of undeveloped dirt, and now they're building a bunch of new townhomes, and it's gonna be called the Wild Horse Village. But anyways, back to Chesterfield. So as of this morning, there were 55 homes for sale in Chesterfield, not including the active under contract would be coming soon. If you included the active under contract in the coming soon, that'd bring it up to 76 homes for sale. Now, the average home price here is just over $623,000, and that's pretty consistent with the area. Most houses are in the $550,000 to $650,000 range, and then the low end for houses drops down to the mid to upper 300s, and then prices go all the way up to well into the two and three, even three million dollar ranges. And the average price per square foot in the area is at $231 per square foot. Now most months it's usually around the $220 to $230 mark, 
And then for that last house we looked at, being up in the 400s, you know, that is way out of line, but that house, that villa technically, was built in 2020. And as for our months of inventory in the area, right now we are at 1.2 months of inventory, and Chesterfield is pretty consistent at around at least one month of inventory. And for our days on market, right now we are at an average of 15 days on market, and the median days on market is at five. Now there was a spike back in February because that's just what the market looked like, but now it has since dropped way down from those numbers. And the median household income for the area is over $120,000. And the population here is just under 50,000 people. And the percentage of people that own their home in Chesterfield is up at 81%. And as for school districts in the area, you're gonna be working with the Parkway School District or the Rockwood School District, depending on where your house is located. Now the Parkway School District serves the eastern part of Chesterfield and the Rockwood School District serves the western part of Chesterfield. And then according to niche.com, both are rated at an A+. Now as for the number one rated place to retire in Missouri to, it is not Chesterfield. It is actually Clarkson Valley. Now Clarkson Valley is a much smaller suburb compared to Chesterfield, but why is Clarkson Valley the best place to retire to rather than Chesterfield? Well, just like Chesterfield, Clarkson Valley is quiet. It's peaceful. It's a great environment for people to settle down in. There's still plenty to do from shopping and eating to entertainment while still being able to easily get out into the world. And the houses in Clarkson Valley have much bigger yards, more natural landscaping, and more mature trees overall. Now, as for the houses for sale in Clarkson Valley, right now there are zero houses for sale in Clarkson Valley. There were two that were sold er earlier this year, and there's one that is pending right now. And with there only being three homes that have gone under contract in the past year, there's pretty much no data to look at. Now, for the data we can look at for Clarkson Valley, one of the houses sold earlier this year was at the $677, $900 price range, and one of them was at the $750,000 price. And the house that's pending right now is at just under $1.3 million. And as for the average price per square foot in Clarkson Valley, again, there's only three houses to go off of. This is gonna be in the low to mid $200 per square foot range. Now again, for month supply of inventory and days on market, there's no data to look at. And the median household income in Clarkson Valley is just over $200,000 per year. The population is at just over 2,600 people, and 97% of the people living in Clarkson Valley own their own home. Now, you're going to have more space spread on Clarkson Valley, and it is, you know, much less than 50,000 people living there compared to Chesterfield, but that's what makes it one of the best places to retire to in Missouri. And that pretty much sums it up. You know, Chesterfield has plenty to offer, from easy shopping and great schools to nice parks like here at Chesterfield Amphitheater and the variety of new houses and new developments being put up in the area, this really is a great place to live, especially since you're able to get basically everything in one place. And if you live in Chesterfield or Clarkson Valley right now, be sure to leave a comment talking about your experience living there. You know, it's important for people watching this video thinking about moving here to get a local perspective on what it's actually like. And again, my name is Noah, and I just wanna be able to help you out in any way possible. So please, if you have any questions, make sure you give me a call, send me a text, or send me an email, and I'd be happy to answer them. And of course, I'd be happy to help you make the move to St. Louis.